Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 41, and this is war number four. And we're going up against an alliance called Untainted TP2. I do not know what that stands for. If it's anything bad, that's not my fault. All right, let's see who they have banned. Hey, I love you guys. Because you did not ban Gallon. All right, let's see what they got planned for us. Now, they didn't ban Gallon, but let's see. Did they line it with anybody? Yeah, okay. So Nimrod, uh, Gallon could take him. Now, Toad, if I remember correctly, he doesn't really get any armor ups or anything, so don't really need Gallon for that. Hmm. Interesting. And then we've got I bomb here. This is interesting. All right. And then we've got um, Guardian. Hmm. That one I could bring in Gallon for. Yeah, that one might be. Yeah, that, that could be a Gallon fight. If I bring Gallon. He could take that Nimrod. He could take that Guardian. Ooh, I do him up there. All right, and we also have uh, Silver Centurion. So that's Claire. We've got Sauron. Hmm. And I do them. I might. I might call for Guardian. That way. Let me see. So. Gallon for that Nimrod there. And for that Guardian. Then Claire. Claire could probably take that um, Toad as well if I need her to. Yeah. Claire and... Um, hmm. Might be able to also take that eye bomb with uh, maybe El Diablo. Hmm. I'll have to think about that, but that's what it's looking like right now. Uh, Diablo might also be able to take that toad, too. Nah. Claire, Gallon. And the third, we will see. Might just bring in the Overseer. Overseer might be good for um, that gal, uh, that uh, Guardian as well. Or, hmm. And Sauron is not really that big of a deal, but I could bring in Nimrod for that. Nimrod might be able to handle, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. So Nimrod should be able to handle Toad. Gallon handles this Nimrod. Gallon can handle that Guardian. Claire for uh, Silver Centurion. Nimrod again for uh, Sauron. Hmm. That's a plan. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna run it by uh, my team and see what they say. And if they are agreeable, I'll be taking that Guardian. And I will bring in Nimrod, Gallon, and Claire. All right, let's get on with the fighting. Right, so I'm going in with the Nim God and Gallon, and of course, Claire. So 
I'm actually pretty excited because Nimrod is a beast, especially against mutants. Most mutants. I'm not fighting him against Bishop. Although somebody has said uh, that he works against Bishop. You just have to be careful how you fight. Uh, but anyway, we've got this first fight here, and it's against Toad. Now, I have faced Toad in um, Battlegrounds. I have faced Toad in Arena. And he's not always the fun champion to fight. He'll regen like crazy. And I've actually lost to him in Arena. Didn't have a proper counter, I guess. And, you know, I got him down low. And then he just kept regening. So I'm like, all right, Nimrod's going to get you. All right, so here we go. Nimrod's just going in. Pretty straightforward. You know, evade his special. Just take it easy. And we're just chipping him down. Chip, chip, chipping him down. You saw that he got his prowesses removed. That's important. And we're just chipping him down. Now, I've gotten to a special two. And I want to bait this out because I want that special two. And he don't want to fire his special one. Why would he? You know? We already waited one full rotation. I'm back now. All right, finally, he threw it. So now I don't have to end with a light attack. I can just fire off my special two. Boom. Boom. All he was doing was prolonging the fight. All that time, he didn't want to fire it. He knew what was coming. He knew it was coming. But Nimrod, Nimrod is crazy good against mutants. So I wasn't too worried about it. He tried, he tried, he tried, but he couldn't resist the Nim God. Now, speaking of Nim God, now I got to fight him. And on this uh, path here, Gallon is going to take it to him. The reason I didn't use Gallon on the last fight is because I didn't need to. He didn't, uh, Toad doesn't get armor ups, so there's no need for uh, Gallon against him. But look at this. I'm already ramped up. So all I need to do at this point is get a heavy attack off and fire off my special one. There we go. Boom. Skidooshi. Over with. That worked out great. If you watched one of my previous fights, you saw me lose when the inputs were messing me up. That's what a fight should have looked like. Very easy, very straightforward. But when it's not letting me get my heavies off properly and all of that. Ugh. All right, so I get to take on Penny Parker. And I'm like, ooh, okay. She's got planetary endurance. That can actually work in my favor uh, because I can push her to a special uh, two easier. So I'm still you know, um, beefed up here, boosted up. And just in case, uh, I don't know what shenanigans. And I was watching for um, one of the nodes, and you already know I'm nervous. All right, nervous about this whole root thing. I don't like it. Um, so here we go. She's got some flourish. All right, here we go. And I'm just having fun because Gallon is a beautiful counter against her. And see what I mean? I pushed it to a special two. Now, I needed her to fire it, which I'm glad she did. And then she went unblockable. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why was that unblockable? I'm like, okay, I better jump off my, my heavy attack, fire off my special one. But she's beefy. I'm like, oh boy, that didn't kill her. I should have waited a little bit, but I got nervous. She hit me with an unblockable. And then, ba -da -da, another unblockable. I'm like, what is going on here? So we got her down, but that caught me by surprise completely. Apparently, I wasn't reading it quite right, the node. Because the first one, you know, I'm glad I did the invulnerability boost. And she was like, ba -da -da -da, and then it was unblockable. I said, what? What? How am I getting hit? Oh, no, now I got to deal with her unblockable. I don't know how to evade that, you know? So anyway, we got through it. It was close. Uh, it, it was scary. Uh, and I was just like, okay. And I hated to f use Gallon 
for that fight, even though he was the best option, because I knew I was going to need Gallon again. And if he died or if he got hurt like he did, I knew I was going to have to revive, heal him up, whatever. It is what it is. Got to use uh, that loyalty. But as you guys probably remember about me, I'm very stingy. And I don't like to use a lot of resources if I don't have to. I will. But if I can avoid it, I will. All right. So now with Guardian here, he's not very difficult. You have to remember, of course, his auto block. That's really the only thing that annoys me about uh, Guardian, his auto block. So all I'm going to do here is medium light mediums. We've got that glancing. Now, look at that. Why did I get hit there? Because I couldn't move. I swiped and it just stayed there. This is what I was worried about. The fight itself is pretty straightforward and easy. But I got to fight these inputs. And I can lose because I'm fighting the inputs as well as my opponent. So I went ahead and fired off my special three. And it's going to start the harvest and it's going to go. So I can focus now a little bit on just surviving. See, look at that. I'm just blocking. I'm not even trying to evade that, which I know I can evade. Okay, look at this. Just block. That's it. Don't worry about it. Just keep going. Keep going. And boom. He's good. He's done. Okay, whichever came first. If, if I had gotten to a special one, I would have fired that off. Otherwise... Just let the harvest um, fire off naturally. But when I saw that, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to even try it. The last time I had to deal with those inputs, I fired a heavy attack and he dashed back and, and fired a heavy. And it cost me the fight. I was like, nope, not doing it again. No suck. So anyway, we're looking good. Looking good. Um, I've got path three in a section two to go. So now it's Silver Centurion who most tech champions get armor ups. So I'm boosting up and I'm not too terribly worried because unless he was a planetary endurance or, you know, if there was something about him that I could not um, nullify then I would have just had to stay in Curse of Blood. That's all. All right, but in this case, I'm like, okay, I got rid of that head, um, his armor up, but as you can see, it's coming back, okay? And I'm just playing it nice, passive, <clears throat> not going too crazy. Now, I went to Curse of uh, Plague, now Curse of Hellfire, firing this off, boom, okay? Nice, good damage. And I don't see his armor. His armor. No armor now. I was very surprised, but that happens with some of them where once they try to do an armor up and it's nullified or if it's immune, it doesn't try again. And so at that point, once I did it, he no longer could get armor ups for the rest of the fight. So it became a very, very quick and easy fight after that. I didn't even have to worry about it. Um, but had he gotten his armor up back, uh, if I couldn't nullify it right away, just stay in Curse of Blood. And, and there's no problem. Now Sauron. Now Sauron is a fun one. He is an annoying defender. Uh, I can evade his special one most of the time. But sometimes I get clipped, especially in Alliance War, where it seems like the inputs attack you with a vengeance. Um, so, of course, I'm going up against him with Nimgod. You know, he, he ain't messing with Nimgod. All right. So we're just going in. Just look at this. I want to push him to a special two if I can. There we go. Because his special two is much easier to deal with. All right. So here we go. Come on. Fired up. There we go. Just that, you know, distance it out. Go back in. All right. Now, I want to get him, and I want to end with a light like that, and bam, right into a special two. 
over with. Mutants are just food. And my Nim God is only rank three. And he's not even high sig. Um, but anyway, that's going to do it for my participation in this war. We'll be back and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Uh, my guys on defense racked up quite a few kills. Uh, I think it was five, five or six. It was like one less, I think, than the number of fights that I did. Something like that. But it was good. Uh, but anyway, we got the win. And we are solidly in uh, Platinum 2. And whether we make it to Platinum 1 or not, We'll see. But right now, we're solid for Platinum 2. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.